what would you say are the kind of um, most concerning or the kind of uh, most common social ills um, in the wider community that you, you feel that uh, we should be thinking about? I think about? the demographics of Small Heath, where Green Lane is located, and with Birmingham being the second largest city in this country, and the dynamics that that brings to the table, and that a lot of the first generation, second generation uh, Muslims who came from overseas mm -hmm. settled here in Birmingham. We have a lot of antisocial behavior, knife crime, gang crime. We have uh, drugs. Mm -hmm. um, and all of those issues are issues that Green Lane is trying to tackle in one shape, form, or fashion or another. Mm -hmm. I was Lane. surprised to see a knife bank yeah, just knife around bank. the corner. It used to be really, old. really um, like um, hot, and there was a big mm. push for it. But with COVID, things have slowed down. But uh, we felt it was the, the, the administration in Green Lane felt people mm. who are running the program felt we have to have our feet on the ground to address the issues mm. that are you know um, our community are, have to confront. So the knife crime issue, the uh, anti-sociable behavior we see from many of the Muslims here, the gang culture, we had quite mm. a few Muslims uh, murdered at the hands of it's other fun. Muslims. So we have to do something about that. We have uh, this issue of uh, single parent homes. In most instances, it's the mother who's raising mm. a child by herself. So we've come up with uh, different uh, initiatives where children who are having different problems adjusting in school, in society, they come to the mm -hmm. masjid with children similar to them, and we give them a mentor who understands what they're going through just to uh, make the kids feel like uh, they have someone or some people mm -hmm. who are there to support them. So this is the thing that I love about this masjid, Salman, this whole thing about us going out and just addressing the different challenges in our community. I was used to be the imam mm -hmm. uh, for the last four years in Liverpool, in Masjid al Rahma, which is the biggest masjid there. I love that city. It was a nice mm -hmm. opportunity. But we had some segments of the community who were insisting that the khutbah is in Arabic. We had some segments of the community who were insisting that we run things as if we're back in the Middle East. Mm. And what part of the Middle East? The poorest country in the Middle East. I can say if you <laughs> wanted to replicate one of the rich countries in the Middle East where there's infrastructure, okay, but they want us to replicate the poorest, most mm. broken down structure in the Middle East because that's where they come from. And we had a lot of things to do, but we had to waste a lot of time fighting yeah. and clashing with this mentality. We are no longer in our countries where we come from, and we are not second-class mm. citizens. We have to exercise our rights and be proud to be Muslims and uh, citizens of this country. And they've given us rights that are, um, if we call them out on them, they'll give us our rights, inshallah. Do you think uh, it's because of a more deep-seated crisis of identity that they want to hold on to these things? or I think it's a plethora of things, and I think that's one mm. of the dynamics. I also believe it's a, um, it has a lot to do with uh, education or lack mm. thereof. When you come from a country where people did not put a lot of emphasis on education, when you get an opportunity, take advantage of education, mm. you squander the opportunity. I would think without knowing anything about your parents that they had a lot to do with pushing you until you got that degree, supporting you and creating an, an environment for you to mm -hmm. get your degree. So if someone comes into a situation where they don't look at it and they don't conceive the mm -hmm. importance of the, the, the situation, nothing's going to happen. Mm -hmm.